In this video, we're going to be showing you how to install the premium content for the Motif XF boards. Here we have a Motif XF6, but this will also work for the XF7 and XF8. The first step involves installing the flash modules, uh, which come with the package. We have two here, both 512 flash modules, and these are actually the boards that house all of the additional sounds. So the first thing we need to do, uh, here we have the board flipped over, and we're just going to remove this back panel here and install the board. So we just have a screwdriver. Now that we have the back panel off, we're going to install both flash modules, and you can put either of these modules in either slot. And they should go in snugly. Um, it shouldn't take too much pressure to get them in there. Once both of the modules are secure, then we can put the back plate back on. Aside from the two flash modules, the only other thing we'll need for this procedure is the included thumb drive. Okay. Insert the thumb drive into the connector that says to device. Now that we've installed the flash modules for the Motif XF, we're going to update the firmware. We already put the most recent firmware on this, so all you need to do is just insert the USB thumb drive, um, and there's just two button presses to update the firmware, just the up arrow and utility, Then we're just going to power up the board. Now our test board here already has the most recent firmware update, so it's not going to look exactly the same how it's going to appear on your screen, uh, but we'll just show you how that process is supposed to look. So you'll see on the board it says searching for the firmware updater. Um, if this process fails at all, you may want to ch double check the thumb drive by looking on the computer um, and just make sure the firmware updater is on the root of the thumb drive. And if it still doesn't work after that, maybe removing um, all other files on the thumb drive and just put, putting the firmware updater on there. All right, and you can see that we have the most recent firmware here. So when your firmware is done, I'll say, please turn off the board, and all you have to do is just reboot. After the flash modules have been installed, the first time you boot it up, it'll say unrecognized flash memory module. Please format that. Um, this is normal. All you have to do is just hit exit to discard the message. The next thing we're going to do is actually format the modules. Um, this is just a process the motif has to go through so that it can write information onto them. So for that, we hit utility, F6 for flash. And up here we have FL1, and if you use the data wheel, you can see FL2. Both of those say unformatted. Those are both of our flash memory modules. Uh, we'll just press SF3 here to format those. And it's going to say, are you sure? Click yes. So we formatted the first flash board. Now to format the second one, same process, SF3 for format. And if you scroll between these two, you can see that both flash boards have now been formatted. The next step is to upload the Sweetwater Premium content. We're going to press File. And in this section of the screen here, we can see that we have a folder that says Motif XF. You can use the up and down arrows to navigate to that file. Press Enter to get inside of the Motif XF file. Scroll down one to get to the Sweetwater bonus. Enter. And the file we want is the sweetwater underscore motif dot x3a. This is all the extra content. Um, we don't really need to change anything here. As long as the type says all, we're good to go. And we are just going to press SF2 for load. And it's going to say, are you sure? Yep. Now this is the process where it's actually taking the information off of the thumb drive and putting it onto the motif xf. Um, this process could take quite a while, um, could take upwards of 10 to 15 minutes. So if it seems like it's hanging there for a while, don't worry, just let it do its thing. Um, and don't power down the board because that could corrupt the flash modules. 
Once the premium content has been installed for the motif, we're gonna just double check to make sure it's on there. Just hit exit and go to user three. And we can see all the sounds here that have SW at the end of them, obviously means Sweetwater, and you can just go through all the banks here and just see all the additional voices that have been installed on there. So user bank three is where you wanna go to get any of the content that was installed from the thumb drive. That's it.